Hello everybody and um, welcome to another video of yours truly, Ordinary Weed. Sorry. I just finished reading Dessert chapters 290 to 363. And you know, I'm over. Sorry. I'm overall very saddened um, that I reached the conclusion that I didn't make a video yesterday because I was so close. I was in episode, I mean, chapter 330s, and I just wanted to get over with to reach the ending. And as of today, 2022, June 14th, 1, 140-ish, I finished reading it and it's a long it was a long journey an extremely long journey sorry i need to check if it's still recording um yeah my phone died on so i'm just gonna record here my phone got out like you know out of memory and stuff but let's just get with it you know so last time we saw the i left off in the part where they were the first stages of the tree uh, being born, Skull Knight accidentally caused it, and sorry, after that, you know, that whole fiasco that all the tree basically gave way for Griffith's kingdom and that sucked but and it even more sucked because he opened the world for more people like um, how could I say no. he made it difficult for people to live outside of the kingdom so it was basically forcing them to be in his um, kingdom his Falconia is what they called it and during that time, you know, a lot of people were being killed and slaughtered outside from the monsters and stuff like that, you know. You know, you, and I'm also going to, this came out late, um, came out a little bit after he made the kingdom, but um, Erica and that other kid um, will, would be there and they would uh, live there for a while. Even the girls from the, um, that were running that kind of prostitution um stable over there and the i don't even know like poor air i don't know but those girls were there and you know it's nice to see them they were helping out our our buddies too even that old one dude that got speed up from the what were they called oh yeah elephant fishies um the guy that, that controlled them he even helped them out and you know they escape but after that we don't see much after that that's like basically we don't get confirmation of much after that so i'm a little bit saddened that i have a lot of questions about that but i'll probably ne never get answers to them griffith and that girl are still very much annoying the, um, i'm not talking about the princess i'm talking about that little girl that has a the medium i still hate her um, not as much as Griffith, Griffith way more, but still. Um, then we also got to see that the ship with the pirates met with, um, uh, with Guts, and, you know, they beat him up, they came back as monsters, we beat him up again, then we reached the island for repairs, and the episodes, um, Oh, sorry. Um, and then during that time, Farnese became like better at using her powers, so that was really cool to see. And then we even get to see later on in the when we reach the Elf Helm that she's really advanced compared to the other people there, and she's a quick learner, so that that's awesome too. Um, and the fiance has a reputation for being like uh, of of uh, Farnese the far the. I forgot his name, but you know, he has a reputation for being a, a good, uh, basically, a fighter at sea, you know. 
So that was pretty cool, you know, he, he kind of seems worthy of being kind of with Farnese a little bit. That's what I got from that. Um, and then we got to the island and it, we see Isma and the Sea God. The first chapters with Isma are so funny. They were so hilarious because of um, Ishidoro, I forgot his name, but you know, the little boy and her interacting with Isma is just the funniest thing ever when the witch used uh, telepathy to see what he was um to see what he was saying and, and saw that he was looking at isma and oh my gosh it's so funny bro it's so funny those chapters were the funniest out of the whole series and isma's reactions are, are you know even extend that um, humorous uh charm and stuff so yeah and then we get to meet the sea god the sea god had little tentacle things and well, it was a big chain it was just a big chain there was this thing was connected to this bigger thing and then that thing was connected to these big slug things and those slug things were connected to the sea god and that was um a long chain of stuff and yeah and then uh, later on we would um, see that he was guts use had a tough time but he did deal with the sorry i'm remembering what he, he's just um it's not a mer isma is not a mermaid it was like a mero or something i don't know something along those lines um got speed up the heart or slashed and it was able to defeat it that was pretty awesome thing he took a beating though um But yeah, that whole fight was crazy. Even we even see the pirate ship like come alive and go up the island and stuff. That was pretty wild. But yeah, everything was defeated and that was it. It was um it wasn't the best arc, but I mean it was pretty interesting. We got to meet Isma, so and I'm she was like rose the ranks really um fast in my in my opinion of the best characters in in this um, series. I don't think she's top 10 yet. Probably top 15, but not top 10. Uh, what else would I like to say? They finally, after that, they f they finally reached um, Elf Helm. Look, these are my notes for today. Way longer. And yeah. I mean, I went through like, um, like over 50 shot. Yeah, I went like over through. F it's almost. I went through 73 chapters since the last time I made a video. That's why I didn't record a video yesterday, but yeah. Um, what else here? Yeah, so they reached Elf Helm. They, they were stopped by the stones, but you know, they got through it because of the elves. That was pretty chill. Then they got to deal with those the scarecrows and then that one big red thing or whatever that forbidden thing that they were talking about. I don't know what it's called, but you know, it's that thing made out of wood and fire and stuff. And then we got to meet Morda. Um, I said, <laughs> I said she was bad, but not in a simping way as um, a compliment way. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna get into that, but yeah. Um, all my, I, I have, if you go to my, um, Manga Kata, like up here, this website right here, Manga Katana. I, if you went to, if you go to the chapters of uh, Berserk, I, I laid out a, a comment for every chapter. If you want to see what I, um, pretty much what I was thinking through while reading through it. So, yeah. And, um, yeah, then we get to meet the elf leader or elf king, but it was actually a girl, but whatever. And then we got Farnese and the witch went up in there and in Casca's memory. And there was a version of Guts. That version of Guts of that, of him being a dog was so cool. It was like, what? Like he even used the berserker as a dog and he even his tail was um was the the dragon slayer that was awesome that that um reference was like so so awesome 
and then we also they the fetus was like in like the main piece that was kind of hidden away that kind of gave connection to like why the the other part of Costco wanted to to like was so attached to it and stuff talking about that that last chapter the, we see that one kid that was with us for a long time I was wondering if that kid was you know related to that fetus but we're probably never gonna get an answer of verification for that um but yeah I mean, there's people talking about that the their the authors the people that the author work with are gonna like carry it carry it on in some way but I, I don't I think that's very far-fetched and I, I don't see that happening there's just too little of a chance I haven't seen I haven't heard of a of a manga um, going after the author dies you know so I don't know it's it's far-fetched and I don't think we're gonna answer but yeah that it, I wonder if that kid was somewhere related to that fetus that Casca had the magical one you know the one that yeah you already know the one that disappeared and kept on appearing and um we got cops in memory she needs guts oh, <laughs> I, I, I actually drive my keyboard um yeah uh Casca was scared to see gut because it reminded of her of the things that she still hides away and we could see that by the curse that her heart had and yeah that that was pretty it's pretty sad to see that she can't even see guts only hear him and then we get transitioned back to Griffith's story I hate it oh my gosh uh, those chapters are so boring bro I didn't want to read them it was so it was absolutely horrible I, I had to go between playing a game and then reading back here because I needed a break from from viewing it it was so boring they, talked about policies and stuff of the kingdom oh uh, bore bore but yeah you know, we got through that you know the branches were could be used by the medium and Griffiths to go to like different areas of the world basically because of that tree is I guess that powerful so that was pretty crazy um, we got backstory on the armor the God's hands are not permanent. That was crazy to me. I thought the God hands could not be replaced, but we see that there was other people before Griffith and the other God hands. The only one remained was that one main um, God hand. The other ones have, were changed. So that's pretty crazy to me. It makes me, it makes me believe there's a chance, you know, that we will, that Griffith could be like removed and stuff. Even um, Guts could take his place and, you know, get revenge that that was pretty awesome to me that there was a chance but now i don't i don't know i'm just sad that there, i'm just sad that there's not a conclusion like that um it gave me hope and then yeah and then we got to see backstory on not only that but um skull knight we saw a backstory in him we didn't even like that's pretty crazy too like how he had um you know he was connected to that the elf lead king and was very connected to her and the other the witch's um leader i forgot her name the old lady that that taught the witch that we're with most of the time so yeah them some backstory with him even love interest actually that he used to have in his mortal days so that was pretty cool to see more backstory on that um anything i'm missing it was cool to see the monsters that were underneath and not really with the elves and the rest of the witch um witches or sorcerers like that weird the wit the witch that actually looked like a witch that was pretty cool i think that's it that really has any importance i left a big comment at the end of the latest chapter it took me half a month but I, it, it took me half a month, but I, I read through all of it, and yeah, I'm gonna miss, miss not being able to read and finish the story, but I mean, it is what it is, like, nobody could do anything about it, there's so much questions I have on everybody, on 
on Erica, on Skull Knight, on the conclusion with Griffiths. Um, I still people say that oh I'm satisfied with the what happened with um with Casca, like her story came to a good conclusion. But you know I don't feel that's like a good ending. You know like I want to see the confrontation between Griffith and Casca still. You know like the, you know but I guess people some people are just trying to see the the good side of it. Which, I mean, I guess. But that's basically, uh, that's all I have to say. That's, I'm just saddened overall. Like, I, I, I reached the end of it, and now I'm left with no conclusion and whatever. But at least now, I could catch up on all my anime that I have not done, been watching for the longest time. So, so, like, the whole past week, I haven't, I haven't updated, I haven't watched any animated, like, Oh, this mango kept me up days, bro. But it is what it is, and that's all I have to say, you guys. This video is getting pretty long, which makes sense because I read a lot. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Uh, peace out, and more videos coming soon. I think this is gonna be the end of the daily thing because I already messed up so many times. So I think that's the end of that. But yeah, peace out, guys. It's funny because you can still see my arrow moving and stuff, but yeah, peace out, guys.